Hey, good morning, friends. Brian King, the Mindset King here. I began my morning looking at the messages in my inbox, and I got an interesting one this morning that I spoke to the person, you know, via messenger, and was given permission to discuss this question for you, because this is something that is prevalent amongst people, especially those with ADHD. And it's an important thing that I think we need to discuss. And essentially her question was, do people with ADHD have difficulty with change in general? You know, you've got your habit, you've got your pattern, then something changes. And her question was, is it normal to be upset about this when things change? Or you know, is there something that she can do to not be upset? And let's simplify this right now. This is not an ADHD issue, you know, having issues with change. It can be more common in people that have a tendency towards more inflexible minds. Because one of the executive challenges people with ADHD and people on the autism spectrum can have is difficulty shifting from a something that you've been paying attention to to something new. You almost rely upon things being constant so you don't have to think it through, so you don't have to problem solve. Because problem solving requires things like prioritizing, sorting, sifting, organizing, playing with ideas. And if that's something that you have difficulty doing because of your executive functions, you don't want to have to do that. You want the problems to be solved for you at the outset. And that's one of the reasons why we like our habits. We like our routines. That's anybody. That's any human being. Because solving problems in real time all the time is exhausting. So having some things that are just taken care of gives our mind a break to focus on other things. So, but in the case of people with ADHD, it can be harder to solve problems. So we can rely upon those patterns more so than others. But here's where we get ourselves into trouble. We get ourselves into trouble by expecting that things will not change because we don't like them to. Where, here's the reality. And for some of you, this may be uncomfortable, including myself. Take a look at the body you currently have. Is this the same body you had 20 years ago? Or has it changed tremendously? I can tell you, my eyesight sure as heck has changed. A couple times, in fact. You know, I'm due for some new glasses. My energy level has certainly changed. My health status has changed. And some of it made me very upset. Why? because I had a story going on between my ears of how I wanted it to be, how I insisted it be, because I felt entitled to my own sense of comfort. That security, the certainty that comes along with routine. You know, we are the ego likes to feel safe and secure and our habits and our routine give us that. And if we believe that the absence of pattern in routine equals danger, on some level, you know, discomfort is a sense of danger, a little bit. But if you're part of your story is that if things change, it's bad because I'm uncomfortable, I don't like it, I'm not comfortable with change. Again, change is not the issue. Change is constant. We don't have the same body, the same health, the same eyesight, the same anything. You may be in your third home, you know, you maybe divorced where you thought you're going to be married forever. The point is, change has been a constant in your life and you haven't died from it yet. That's important to remember. So change in and of itself isn't a problem. But for many of us who insist that things must be the same in order for us to feel safe, that's a problem. Because the fact is, it isn't really an issue. Change is change. Life is life. It's constantly evolving. So what do you do when you become upset when things change? Well, first of all, own it. Don't attribute it to ADHD or anything else. It's your issue. It's too easy to find a villain. Something that makes you powerless to it. I can't help it because it's my ADHD. Nonsense. Because even people with ADHD or bipolar or anything else still control their story. So what does it mean to you that this change occurred? What are you telling yourself the meaning behind it is? It means I'm gonna have a bad day. It means somebody messed with my stuff. 
everybody's looking for signs outside themselves, this external force that's out to get them somehow. And I'm not saying the worst example of this is the victim mindset, but even in that moment where, man, it's always happened to me. I always have the worst luck. No, you are talking yourself into being upset because you've been inconvenienced. Don't take life that seriously. Change occurs, you become upset because of the story between your ears. Examine that story. Assign a new meaning to that change so that you see an opportunity instead of an insult. The opportunity is, oh wow, this is interesting. I wonder how this happened. Let's take a look at this. It's almost like a surprise gift that you didn't see coming. FedEx knocks on your door and says, hey, somebody gave you this surprise gift. Oh, for me? Oh, that's awesome. Let me check it out. Oh, I didn't expect this. You can treat an unexpected change the same way. What does it have for you? What opportunity does it present? Maybe you haven't talked to so-and-so in a while. Maybe that's the person you need to bring into this to help you problem solve. And you're going to have a story for them, not, I have ADHD and I diff have difficulty with change and I've made myself quite upset this morning and don't know how to get back on track. Your story can simply be, you know what, my brain hasn't fully engaged yet and something unexpected happened this morning and I need a little help getting oriented. Do you have a minute to help me talk through this? And if you found a good, helpful person, they will help talk you through it, get you back on track, and now you're off and running. So there are a lot of little solutions, tweaks in your mindset, Mindset King, tweaks in your mindset that you can use to make issues like this that are longstanding, things you've been doing for your entire life. You can suddenly shift them into something much more productive and far less dreadful than you've made them all this time. So this is just one that I wanted to share with you. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you to the person who sent me this question and allowed me to share it with everybody else for their benefit as well. If there's anybody you know that can benefit from this, please share it with them. And if this is an issue that you have or some other issue that you wanna talk about, I'm gonna drop a link in the comments where you can schedule a 15 minute chat with me. No strings attached, just wanna help you out. So you can schedule a 15 minute chat with me and we'll troubleshoot it, okay? So until next time, this has been Brian. Thanks for being you.